Last we left off, Brandon, John, you two both went up to bed and passed out. Possibly one due to the smell, possibly not. David, you remain downstairs afterwards. What was your plan, staying downstairs? Um, well, David's plan would be to uh, check if he has any ingredients to try and make a potion. So, rummaging through the bits and pieces that you have, on you personally, you don't really have much in the way that you could really use. You don't have really any magical components. You are aware of having various uh, herb plant bits stroke herbs that you collected in the initial world, but not much beyond that. But those could be used as base components for any potential uh, brewing you wish to do. You are quite lacking on ingredients. Mm -hmm. Then um, David would make a list of the ingredients he needs based on the information that's in the book. Potions that are in there. Okay. And afterwards, uh, read a little bit and then go to bed. Mm, no, it is. Everyone was wanting straight sleep to pass on to the next day. Uh, I was actually going to meditate to see if I fell there. Well, then, roll me your religion when you went upstairs. My oh, religion is so night. It was almost 20. You sit there meditating and you feel a sense of ease coming over you and you fall asleep with your legs crossed. Why did I roll twice? I'm sorry. It's the true purpose of meditation anyway. Why, why, why does it keep rolling? <laughs> You're really hoping I, to see it. I swear I clicked it once, but I think I spammed it. Okay, and with that, if no one else is going to try anything, the night passes. A new day dawns. Light creeps in through the windows and. Hmm, who wants to wake up first? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, I'm gonna say you all roughly just wake up all at the same time, just to save dilly dallying around that. Brandon and June, I'll let you decide who will be the first. Uh, I'd, probably, you. Um, I'd probably say that Brandon would rise quite early. Um, okay. Sleight of hand. Hopefully, don't lob off my foot. It's a good thing you have to. <laughs> <laughs> you had eight at oh. one point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I already, got a I already got a nat one on Jack, and what my foot six can't be one. Well. Jordan uh, must be one, isn't that? You get to work on your foot and you you do scrape it a decent bit, but it's getting quite sore, your feet as a whole, as you're doing it. But you keep going, think you're doing good, but you just make them more sore until you eventually decide to give in a little bit earlier than you normally would. Okay, that starts a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, just gonna start. Oh, it's on. Yeah. is still down there. She never went up to bed last night. She just asleep, passed out in a chair. Face in a plate. Yes. She went out the way she laughed. <laughs> <laughs> eating. Uh, no, give me the rat. Yeah. Um, I think at that point I will go downstairs, freshen up a little bit. Uh, you freshen up quite nice and quickly. Oh, unless you decide to take your time freshening up. Nah, just a quick freshen up. So, 20 minutes later, John comes out the bathroom. <laughs> oh, that was a nice quick <laughs> splash. <laughs> it's alright as I can. No, I just forgot. I keep forgetting. What do you keep forgetting? That I have a lot more things to clean. Like my hair, it's very long. Can you do the press? Pre you can say it. Come on. Good job. Press yeah. I, I guess press stage. Why don't you just refer to it as a press stage? Can I get the quick press? Okay, press these sounds nice. Only if you say it's, if you, only if you say the full name. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just trying uh, to be helpful. Yeah, at least one of us is trying to be helpful. The other one is um, having fun. Hey, I, I want it, customer service. That's kind of guest press station on June to uh, clean her up. Can I come down like, early? Um, like, like lavender. 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 Nice. Yeah, if any other. I keep smelling uh, my shirts. Can also smell wise. Yeah, smell wise. Uh, I don't know if you want to smell like cinnamon or something. No. I'm feeling today quite citrusy, actually. Cast it again. Make her smell citrusy. Nice. You smell, smell like, like a lemon. Like lemon. Let's go. Life gives you lemons. <laughs> Did Kara come downstairs early or? Uh... I think she slept there. Oh yeah, Kara was just here when I woke up. I've just she's drooling on the plate. Should we carry her upstairs? Should we do something about this? Yeah, David would Princess carry her upstairs. I can give you a hand if you want, Dave, rather than Princess carry. I think she's not that like, right. heavy. I'm Roll glad she's strip. Drop her down the I stairs, know. let's go! Oh, no. <laughs> I need no. help. <laughs> I've got you. You are very slowly moving, one foot at a time, 
shuffling along, you get to the first step and down them. You I'll psych it. yourself up in your head going, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. One step at a time, one step at a time. First step up, you nearly drop her. Second step up. Stop Brendan. You nearly drop ahead. Oh, wait. Wrong way around. Dave, Dave, you hang on. Wait. Let him, let him, let him. Feel the strain we're, on we're, your back. We're the ones having fun. Yes, but, but Kara can't stand to have any more brain damage. Okay, now you've got a point. <laughs> Let's help him. <laughs> <laughs> Which point I say with the help? She's the one that ran wall. into the wall. I think uh, she should lay off. I'm the fool to bits. I'm going to say that the universal explanation as to why there is this is because cows eat our own body weight. <laughs> Just last night, we're out of supplies. <laughs> Nobody checked in on them. <laughs> oh, you checked those radishes. Bring her to her wall. And with the combined efforts, you managed to all get her into the bed. <laughs> you never do get You're not even checking her ear? She's I tuck her in nicely, eat her on the forehead. Oh, why is the dog here? I... I could control the... <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to control the dog talk, can I? Or did you just say I think everyone can. I think everyone can. Everyone, every, oh, yeah, everyone yeah, can yeah. move the... Sorry. The dog oh, just wanted to join. Nah, that was me trying to drag Brandon into the room, sorry. And just like that, you compared yourself to a dog. He doesn't ever want I don't want to be part of this conversation. <laughs> Alright, that was actually good. Uh, are you feeling a bit weaker than usual? No. I was thinking maybe we don't get enough proteins. No, like, we. Do, I don't know how well balanced our meals have been since we have been traveling. Um, we have been getting vegetables. Yeah. And meat. Yeah. Did we, we have any fat vitamins? Like, I remember guys on ship wrecks. Oh no, on ships used to get, get scurvy. Because there was no vitamin C, is, so maybe we of, should... It's difficult to know one way or the other. And it just operates on the food that would be called to have the same... Yeah, that makes it much diff more difficult now you mention it. <laughs> oh. yes, and we are kind of stuck with what the environment has for us. Mm. If there's some lot of use, I suppose it's something or that. Like, like creating food? Well, either that or just being to tell what's in those harvest deficits today. I mean, imagine that we could use, that'd be worth me experiment what we can do with it. In fact, that magic have any. I mean, that would be nice. I also need to want some uh, ingredients for potions. I want to see if they have any nice trinkets. Um, I mean, I think cars on the table. And maybe they even uh, uh, yeah. sell a willow person. I wouldn't think so. It sounds like it's quite difficult to yeah, that get one. Potion guy said, I'll press. Also, also, what were we supposed to do with uh, finding the family? What was the last things we discussed? Um, I brought up the possibility of maybe it's emergency. Ah, yeah. I mean, that's good. Last yeah, year, I think. Like with how much actually Homer original. Is. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, if it's like 80 years, I'll start being. I think they did say that. They I got think it Charlotte said. Episodes. Oh, did they say that they got yeah, it directly she, she from said, the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that I think sings. But she did say she hasn't really talked to them because it was just a. How do you say, like. An exchange, like basically, kind of like that, and that's uh, it. What did the guys have to look at the record? I don't even know the house around here. Your some reason, all I can. For some reason, all I can remember is the leaking roof and not even a single letter. Oh yeah, the, uh, he said if we had any information about the uh, family or the house or anything like that from the archives, mm. right? That, that's what you said, right, Brendan? Yeah, yeah, that's why. All I remember is the uh, certificates they used to live here and that this was a family home. So there could be a grave, family grave, of the previous generations around here. Or we, and I think this is our best bet, or we could ask David and Charlotte if they have any more information about why they previous owners are selling the house or what's really happening. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, the cemetery was a lack because it's just a whole thing of verifying. David and Charlotte knows already that guns. I think that's our best bet. And if they have no other additional information, then I think the cemetery would be the next best thing. The only reason I mentioned the records is... How, how old do gnomes get? Lante? Uh, yes, Matt. Gnomes, how old do you usually get? I think around 150 or something? Yeah, it varies. Depends on uh, exactly what we get up to. Yeah, so uh, some people yeah. with magic tend to last longer, some last shorter. Uh, people who Everett. tend to like to use weapons tend to last shorter. Um, Let's oh, just yeah, say okay. dying of old age. Yeah, twice the length of a human. Yeah, 150-ish. Yeah. Uh, because 
The land permit of the house is from 150, 100, 150 years ago and the birth certificate that we found from somebody of the family was from 70, 80 years ago. Thinking they might stop. So there should be somebody, yes, they might be alive or there should be someone in this village that's that old and that remembers those people, hopefully. Because if the birth certificate is less than 100 years old, a no might have been 50 and it doesn't seem like lots of people leave this village. I think uh, they did say that a lot of people were leaving. I mean, didn't they say they that? They were leaving, but I, I think the newer out. generation leaves and the older people kind of stay behind. That's kind of how it goes in villages. Anyway. Mm, sure. Is anyone here? Hello? Hey, alright. You hear sure. movement? The wall's talking again? Yeah, hello. Hello. He walks up to the counter. He's a teethling. Uh, quite pale of skin. I'll make an expanded version of his token. Oh, this... Oh, but it's all that. Oh, sh hello there. Hi, hi, hello. Uh, I'm right in assuming that this is a shop, isn't it? This is a shop indeed. Ah, excellent, excellent. Hmm, I gotta be honest, I did not expect any customers. I'd heard some talk in one of the taverns last night that there was no shop here, so I thought I'd come stop by. Go quite quickly. Alright. Uh, do you have any knives to sell? We do. Like kitchen knives or? Uh, like a uh, hunting. We have seven of them. Yes, we do. How many do you need? Uh, I could do with uh, three decent ones if you got them. I'll pick three decent looking hunter knives. How about these three? Taste. Mm. Gives them a little inspection. Yeah, these will do. How about uh, five gold for the free? I cannot find hunting knives in the... Uh... Just dagger. The daggers okay. are, uh, daggers. are two gold pieces each. So uh, they would be How about eight gold for the three of them? Mm. That's a bit steep, to be honest. Not going to go that high on them. Yeah. I find five a bit low. We could meet in the middle. Six. Five silver? Gin, mm -hmm. Romy, Persuasion. I rolled it once. It keeps rolling. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's only got three ones for me. Uh -huh. No, it keeps going. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take the last one. No. I like to think that the multiple checks are basically you starting off really strong and making it more compelling, and then you kind of just... It. Press something that's like roll three dice or something. Uh, yeah, you are. Six gold, um, five silver. I'll do it. And we have ourselves a deal. He fishes around in a pouch on his pocket, on his side, sorry, and pops the coins onto the counter and picks up the knives and puts them into a couple of absent sheaves and then wraps one and puts it into one of his, his backpack. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much for that. I'll be seeing you. Hey, excuse me. I do have a question. I don't hmm? see many tea things. Uh, at least I haven't speak, spoken to many. Um, are you, this is a shot in the dark, are you familiar with uh, a family name Shia or Judy Shia? Mm, I can't say, I'm sorry. He used to live in the house across the front of the show. Yeah. Not that anyone that rings a bell to me, sorry. Have a good day, be careful out there. Watch out for rats. And with that, she's out the door, walking away. Did you say watch out for rats? I oh, I guess we'll find out soon. Maybe it's, not a, maybe it's also a delicacy here. I don't think it's a delicacy anywhere. It is to Kara. Yeah, I don't trust Kara when it comes to delicacies, in all fairness. You, you, you would think that she has like a high standard of I think that the way that she has to be addictive. I don't think about that. Kara eating rats like an aphrodisiac. It's an oh, aphrodisiac. It's not a pleasant man. I'll switch. Is that some kind of drug? Technically yes, but also no. Uh, Viagra is an aphrodisiac. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, we still have some of those, don't we? I think we do. I think we do. Like oh. They were given by a, a lovely grandmother to a oh. certain Brandon. Yes, I remember I was who had troubles with his little friends. I I still don't know how conversations started. I assume no. Yeah, it's that was all you. I think. No, it was him. No, I shouldn't apologize. I think it was just your own bad choice of words. Yeah, you were trying to say you're socially shy, and somehow that translates into I'm. Inf I mean, I would say that's kind. Oh, um, are we out? We have yet to have breakfast. <laughs> Why did you take it out? <laughs> At that Ooh, point, we were talking about <laughs> a little head had poked through the door, and an eyebrow had raised at that. Um, am I interrupting? Oh, no, no, um, come in. We're no. just uh, engaging in the Looks past time John of... Brandon. We're talking about our medical stash and herbal stuff. Okay, well, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Yes, uh, you forgot his last name. No, it's Marston, but it took yeah. more than a second, so I just... <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Marston. Oh, is uh, Miss, Mrs. Marston doing? Ah, uh, she's quite nice and relaxed. Don't know what she ate, but uh, she seems to like it a lot. She's not been very nervous. Lemon cake can be calming. 
Ah, oh, I'll to make sure to remember that next time she's having one of her episodes. She gets very really nervous. Oh, you want to join us for Brandon, breakfast? Oh, go on then. Hello, David. Hello, David. Will you join us for breakfast? Oh, David. if it says to come on in. Thank you. Oh, there's no seat for long day. I'll be sitting here with Lante then. <laughs> Away from us? Like there are chairs next to each other. Why are you sitting there? <laughs> Me and Lante are enjoying our time. The reason you came us to us? Yeah, I was just checking in. Yeah, we're neighbors now, so, you know. Oh, that's very sweet of. Oh, is this that kind of village where people check in on each other? It can be, yeah. Oh, and who cool. your neighbors are, to be honest. Yeah, if they pull a knife yeah. on you, then. <laughs> You don't have to spend much time with them. It used to be it's a really nice place around here. Yeah. Well, it's not as good as it used to be here. It's quite a while, mm. so, you know, things have gone a bit downhill in the last decade. Because the work dried up in the mines. Gambling. We, we actually beat up some loan so. sharks, didn't we? No, we didn't beat them up. We just no. we just talked to them. No, I just talked we to them. Talk to them then, yeah. got really oh, whatever you did, it worked. Yeah, there are some yeah. really bad people here, now you say it. Yeah. Some people turn to gambling to try and make ends meet. Yeah. Hard to earn. Most people have been moving out and moving on and finding elsewhere. How, um, where did you live before here? Was it just in the same village but a different building or a totally different village? A totally different village. We used to live to the west in Blue Doom. Ah, Blue Doom. Why do we say it like you know the place? Oh, Blue Doom, yeah. I remember. <laughs> uh, God, faking. So, uh, David, funny yes. that, that you came to meet us because uh, we were actually planning on meeting you as well. Oh. We had a few questions about the previous owners of your house. Is there anything you could tell us about them? Why did they sell it? Uh, did they say where they were going? Are they still alive? Uh, uh, that is a question that was a bit of a while ago. Uh, yeah, what do you serve for breakfast, by the way? Just uh, potatoes, a bit of meat. Duck and eggs. Some, uh... He's currently in the middle of munching on a potato whilst he's thinking. Some vegetables and an egg. Yeah, I recall them being quite sad. Mm. They'd lost someone, but I can't really tell you anything more than that. Were well, they close to this village? Perhaps they are neighbors, or do they have acquaintances? Honestly, I really couldn't tell you. Are it's there, not like it was just yesterday. Are there any villagers that have been here for the last hundred or hundred fifty years? Uh, do, 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 do. It's Cletus. Cletus. Yeah, he's a. Uh, Pushing 180, I think. Mm. That's that's a good age. Where does uh, this Cletus live? Uh, he lives uh, just to the west of here, just towards the edge of the town. All right. Cletus is gnome or a tiefling? Oh, uh, no. Cletus, no, 180. For the house and have a mention. Mm, I'd say they did, to be honest. I was quite busy at the time, really, honestly. So I wasn't obviously in the town all that much. The mines mm. were still prosperous back then, so. Yeah, I was kept down there a lot of the time. Oh, the mines have dried up recently. Yeah, last decade, really. Mm. Mm. They just no more reason. The veins that we were mining seem to dry up. And opening another one is not a possibility. If you can find one. Ah, yeah. We tried. Uh, is the ground around here fertile? Yeah, it's middle ground. Mm. Good enough to get by to feed a village, but not really much more. Did they leave anything besides the house? But maybe a diary book anything that maybe we could use magic to trace them if yes any item belonging to the family mm, don't really recall much of anything sentimental there was some furniture left uh yeah, nothing personal at the very least mm, does this village have a cemetery side yeah, of town was that second side of town is the cemetery uh, did i specify previously i can't remember off the top of my head now actually me neither you have said west two times now, so let's go for a turn. <laughs> let's go for east this time. <laughs> There's nothing east from here. There's always east. To the uh, northwest, there are some uh, cemetery spaces. They uh, tend to get okay, reused. Close to so. the marketplace? Uh, no, it's kind of like between where the town boundaries are. Uh, gives us three options for today, right? Uh, cemetery. Leaders, Leaders. the magic shop. Yeah, but the magic shop is just for shopping. Yeah, but three three destinations to go to. Yeah. And I think if we go Cletus, Cemetery, Magic Shop, we can hit all of them in one line. Are you writing this down? I write basically everything down. Good, because I don't. Yeah, I noticed. Okay. I don't know why that sounded so condescending. It sounds so hostile. I suppose we'll be again like you two. I need oh, shopping. I will. Can't pass up free food. That's sure, not eating chair. breakfast alone now. Uh, she'll probably be up in a little bit. 
Oh, so that's something else. With that, he makes his way out of the shop. Oh, he's a good neighbor. Yeah, they're nice neighbors. Oh, okay. oh, with the I mean, it would be quite weird. Yeah, he just we... appeared in their flower beds, and... ruined the flowers, talked about the corpse. Yeah, I think it was probably that last thing. Who even mentioned that? You. you. I would go. Oh. Did I? It was yes. you, yeah. <laughs> Don't try to shift the blame to someone else. It was you. I mean, it, it was you, John. I didn't say it like that, though. Like, surely I, I said, said something very like... nuanced. We have a corpse that needs to be buried. <laughs> I think you Party. said something Oh, well, I managed to straighten it out again. Eventually, yes. Somewhat. You know, it's because we share a room and I'm getting your anxiety vibes. You know, your social... Your social... Don't your non-socialness is wrong. Don't, don't blame this on me. <laughs> take accountability, June. I did, and I fixed the problem. Yes, by blame. I have to my find fault. a source. I didn't say it was your fault. That's a whole different problem. <laughs> anyway, how uh, are we doing, by the way, on the water? Water? You used it. How much water is there? Go check. I think it's been some while since we last filled it up. And then I'm gonna use the want of creating the store water to try and create some water. Our food and water supply is that with down anywhere? Uh, food is water. I didn't do that. Was it? Oh, that's in my uh, personal life. Ah, right. We have uh, Did you remember how much water we could keep? It's three barrels or two barrels for you need this ish. It was two barrels that you made. Yeah, we, had, we made right. two cards. I think one card for for a barrel. I know we made two cards, and I think we made I should, multiple trips. I'm gonna read my diary. Do you remember which day it was? The performance. There was performance issue. There might be something in this one. Talking about performance issue, this is a whole bit what I wrote about. Okay, that's my. Oh, oh, the girl you were gonna meet at the comic con. Mm. Oh, remember that? I mean, you oh, have a crazy story to tell to her when you see her again. Brandon, <laughs> you know she's gonna think you blew her off. <laughs> I don't think she was actually girl. No, no, you said girl, but then you quickly said somebody I'm talking to online. I think it was probably more that Adam was gonna use it in Gallons. Yeah. Mm, you're very... Alright, I'm using the ones to uh, fill up on any missing water, and then uh, we are ready to go. Okay, then. Should I take the sword with us? The one with the feet fetish? Or should I leave it at the shop? Wait. <laughs> Wait, so I won that one party? I forgot we had that. We never talked to the sword after that, did we? I kind of forgot that existed. Did we uh, talk to it? I uh, give the swords to June. Good morning. It's still in a sheath. It says nothing. Well, I, I unsheathed it. I'm sorry. Good I'm morning. How have you been? Oh, we got custom feet today. Maybe we should I slowly uh... put it back in the sheath. <laughs> Maybe we should <laughs> let the swords meet Brendan's feet. Stop! Why do people keep suggesting that I got my foot no. amputated? I, I, no, no, I, 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 I can see Martinez's point. And just before you close the sheath, yeah. I think if we let him meet your feet, then he no longer would have a fetish. Then it's just a regular talking sword. Uh, Traumatized regular talking sword. Uh, Aren't we all makes on? a twisted amount of sense. I feel like we're probably going a little bit off the rails as you keep away from me, I guess. Okay, let's. I unsheath it again. <laughs> No, step on it. Show your feet. Brandon takes off his socks and moves to be dancing from side to side. What rule should I make for this? Intimidation, <laughs> <laughs> uh, persuasion or something? Should the other make a wisdom saving throw? <laughs> just ruined the one king this thing had. You're welcome. And what was what, 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 Do I need to That's roll anything? So, oh, your foot was enough. <laughs> your feet wave in the way, and the sword kind of just sits there in Jun's hand. Everything is quiet for a second. The smell permeates, stings Jun's eyes, stings David's eyes. Luna and Bella are crying. Oh. They so bad. Oh, the poor dogs. And then you just say, hey, put your mercy. I'll get rid of them for you. Jun, you feel a like from the sword towards oh. Brandon's feet. If it looks like Jun's losing back. control, if it looks like Brandon, sorry, Jun's losing control, the sword ran to his feet. I have a minus one strength. I should be wielding a sword that can pull itself away. And you get further away, the sword wiggles a little bit, and then just goes still. I think it worked. I, it felt like for a moment something was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's but we tried. a thing that I have to get Stink Burst Station, by the way, to get rid of the foul smell, smell in the air. Rules. Spell. spell attack. 
19. You manage to get rid of the majority of the smell. There's still a light permeating stench in the background that just kind of trapped in your nose, but otherwise it's all gone. Interesting thing is, it's actually getting better, Martinez. What do you mean better? It's awful. It's, yeah, it's awful, but it, it's not as awful as it used to be. You're telling me it used to be worse? Yeah, I cried myself to sleep a few times. Believe it or not, been... I am trying. Yeah, and I appreciate it so much. I as well. I truly do. Yeah. And I feel sorry for you, too. Nah, no. it's actually it, it's not that bad. I've 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 slept in worse places. I feel even more bad for you. There are these cheap hostels where just a bunch of people share a room, and it's just all bunk beds, and we don't know each other, and it's terrible actually. Why would you go into a cheap? Oh yeah, it used to be a boy. Oh, still, why would you go to a cheap hostel? Just to sleep. The rest of the day, I was outside. You need at least some comforts. We've been out I'm sleeping on the floor since we've been here. It's actually really good for your back, did you know? You have a backpack, uh, a sleeping bag. Yeah, I, sl I sleep in a sleeping bag on okay. the floor. I feel bad for you. Appreciate it. I feel bad for Brandon. Brandon feels bad. I do. <laughs> I, I don't really know what to say to that. It's just, I'm sorry my feet are... Why don't you accept what I can see in my diary is we made our own carts and filled the water barrels twice. So I think we let's say two barrels. Two barrels, but we used it twice, so we had we have four times the amount of that inside a barrel. Oh, it's the same day we met uh Dilbert. Alright. You guys remember Dilbert? No, I do not. Are we uh going shopping? I love the fact that just from a quick attempt at a throwaway comment has turned into a whole episodic saga for this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it really has. I don't know how we're getting so much mileage from this, but I feel there's plenty of gas left. In I mean, the yeah, thing is, is, feet can walk many miles. There's also a lot of gas on your feet. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> See, the jokes just keep writing themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, to do he, put it, he put in a sword with a foot fetish, just kind of on him too. Also as a throwaway something. <laughs> we actually bought it, it wasn't even part of it. <laughs> I expect you to just leave it and ignore it, but no, you took it along, oh. okay? <laughs> I mean, it's a sword with a feet fetish. How many of those we can make do you it know? Work. I mean, if we sell it to a brothel, you, we can make some mad catch. We are not stuck. <laughs> thing is, I mean, though, there's that, probably... I, I'm sure... There are probably establishments in this town where that is the list. Somewhere, someone but likes this. Maybe we don't this right now at all and just do some regular shopping. I agree. So to the magic shops first or to uh, Cletus? Cletus. I'd say whichever's closest. Cletus, Cletus would be closest. Cletus it is. Okay. So I would say that you were given vague directions to the general area.